Warwick leads these two out of the old hairpin. We're with him now, climbing up towards McLean's, doing about 125 miles an hour, down into the right-hander, and he's lost it! Into the travel trap, into the tar wall, he's broken our camera lens! That'll be six grand, please, Derek. But I don't suppose Derek's too worried about that. He's out of the race, and it's an embarrassing end to his first British Touring Car Championship race. Over the tyres. Now they've got to get the car checked for race two. And Derek's got to get back to the paddock. Now here's a replay. Out of Prano at 105. Into top gear, 125 miles an hour. Down through the gears to about 110 and off. Slam bang into the tyres. That's it. Thank you. Goodbye. And there's no change at the front. Clellan leads, menu second, Radis each third. Rydell is fourth, Harvey is fifth, Chicotto is sixth, Will Hoy is seventh, and the rest of them follow through. He's closing. He's closing, he's going through. Yes, down to the S's. Johnny Chicotto takes fifth place from Harvey's Volvo. Magnificent move. Now, can he hold it as they go down to the Melbourne hairpin? It looks like it to me. Yes, Chicotto fifth, Harvey sixth. But it's a long haul now for Chicotto to try and catch Rydell's Volvo, which is in fourth place. Here's the leader, John Cleland. That's his race engineer, Phil Barker, talking to him on the radio. All's well, all's well. John Cleland, you've got the lead. And it's the last lap, Redgate. Menu is second in the blue car. Radisic is third in the Ford. Rydell is fourth in the Volvo. Chicotto is fifth. Tim Harvey is sixth. Will Hoy is seventh in the blue Renault. Behind him is James Thompson. There's Sutton and Simone. And James Kay is 11th, followed by David Brabham's BMW in 11th place. That's number 17. This is the last lap. Into the Craner curves, James Kay and Brabham together. But this is Matthew Neal leading the privateers contest for the £25,000 total cup. He's in the Ford Mondeo. Second behind him is Nigel Smith. Then it's Richard Kay in the Mondeo. Fourth is Charlie Cox from Australia in the Mondeo. And in fifth position for the total cup is Rob Gravitz Boxall. Matthew Neal had a gigantic crash in a Mazda last year and lost most of the season. This is his first race in the Ford Mondeo, and it's turning out beautifully. Down to the Melbourne hairpin. And Brabham goes wide. Tries to take K. It's not a good day for the ex-Formula One drivers. Accelerates away in the BMW. Helen goes into coppice for the last time, followed by Menu, Radisic, Rydell and Chicotto. But Will Hoy is fighting Harvey. Look at this, Will Hoy in the blue car, Harvey in the middle, Thompson on the right. They're battling for sixth place, and Hoy's got it. Or has he? Or has he? Because look at Thompson. Right up alongside him, 20-year-old James Thompson in his first British Touring Car Championship event for Vauxhall, having driven in a Peugeot last year as a privateer, is in sparkling form. Into the S's, well, Hoy's there. Hoy is sixth, Thompson is seventh, Harvey is in eighth position, down to the Melbourne hairpin for the last time. And John Cleland is going to have a career win number 10 for 24 juicy championship points. He weaves delightedly across the line, takes the chicken flag, menu is second. Paul Radisic is third, Rydell fourth in the Volvo, Chicotto fifth in the BMW, sixth is Will Hoy. And John Cleland is a very, very happy man. So the first race of the championship provides the perfect start for John Cleland, winning from Menu and Radisic. Ricard Rydell disappointingly in fourth from his pole position. It's been a promising start for the Williams-run Renault Lagunas, but a struggle for the Alfa Romeos.